Adobe Illustrator, how to edit text. Good day folks and welcome to the channel. I'm going to show you all the different text options that you can use in Adobe Illustrator. There's a bunch of text options, there's lots that you can do. So let us get straight in. First of all, you're going to need some text on your blank canvas. So we're going to go over to the left hand side and we are going to tap on the text option, which is a little T symbol. Now, if you right click on it, you'll have the type tool, the type on a path and then the vertical type tool. So we're going to go ahead and just tap on the type tool. And there's two ways that you can open a text box. First of all, you can click down just once and you will have your text box open as a heading text. The second way of doing this, and this way will open your text box for paragraph text, you can click down, hold your click in and drag, and you will now have a paragraph styled text. Then we can change the size, first of all, of your text. And then you can also change the type of font that you're using for your text. So there are quite a few fonts. You can go ahead and you can change what it actually looks like. You can do the same over on the other text box. So on the left hand side in your toolbox, you have the selection tool. And once you've chosen your selection tool, you can go ahead and you can select the text that you want to edit. Having a look now, you can change a few different options over here in this drop down menu. But the main part of our editing tools is actually going to happen on the right hand side where we have our properties. So we're going to go straight in there. We've now selected this text over here at the top. You can now change the size of the box itself by adding in the pixel values over here under transform. So you can really just change what it actually looks like and what it actually feels like. You can also change the rotation over here of the text. There's a rotation box that you can change over and then you can flip it vertically. You can also flip it horizontally. Having a look at the actual text itself, if you're going over to sort of the edges, you can see that you can change the size and also the orientation. So if you want to make it sort of longer letters or shorter, fatter letters, you can do so right over there. The next thing you can do over here is the text to vector graphic. So you can actually convert it into a vector. And um, then this next box over here is the appearance. Here you can change what the actual text color is. So that's under the fill. So to actually change the color of the text, we're going to go into the text box and we're going to actually select the text itself. We can now go over to that full color and we can tap on the color that we would like. It is now red, but there are a few other options. There is a few gradients that we can use. So for example, this faded sky, we can click on that and then it opens up a gradient options button, which we can open up right over here. You can select the way it appears as a gradient. You can also select the way the angle of the gradient is. And you can actually see over here, if we move this up, that you can actually select the points of the gradient slider as to which color appears at what point. Let us close this for a moment and we can now change the outline of the actual text and that is under stroke. So once you tap on that, you can see now that you can change the color of the stroke. So let us make it yellow and there is a point value over here. Now that is basically how thick that outline is. So if we make it one. You can see now that's what it actually looks like. And you can now change the color as well as that full and you can change it the size of the outline of the text. You can also change the opacity of the text. So if you'd like to fade it out a little bit, you can do so over there. And then we have some special effects over here, such as 3D and material. We can convert it to a shape. And this is useful if you're exporting this text to a program or a device which doesn't actually hold the text that you're using or the font type. You can then convert this to a shape and then when they receive it, they actually are just receiving it as an image or an image of a shape. So there's actually no text style involved there. You can now also crop your marks. You can distort 
and transform the actual text and if you go down here you can see that there are a bunch more options really that you can do there's some nice special effects you can turn it into a sketch you can pixelate it you can distort it and you can even create brush strokes from it so with so many options you can really customize your text completely Going down over here, you can see now that there is character. You can now define what the text actually looks like in terms of its alignment and its borders. So you can change the actual size. You can change some of the font style again. And then you can change the spacing. So if you have perhaps more than one line, the icon on the right hand side, you can actually change the spacing between the lines and then underneath that it's the spacing between the letters you can see that and this basically spaces each and every letter equally you also have the option over here uh, that's just left of that and now if you're selecting in your text if you are selecting in between two letters and you are increasing that value it will actually increase the space in between just those specific letters Going down now as well, you can also have a look at the paragraph section. You can now change the alignment. So if you want the text like that, if you want the text to be spaced out equally, and there are a bunch of other options in terms of aligning the actual text. You also have the area type, so you can actually push the text to the top, to the middle, to the bottom, or you can have it equal to the block that you have in over here. And then you have bullets and numbering options. If you drop that down, you can see that there are a few different numbering options, as well as different bullet options. And if you click the three dots, you can see that there are some additional options over here. Going down now, you can also align the actual box that the text is in. So depending on what it is that you'd like, you can go ahead and change that too. If you have a look at this menu over here, there are a few other options. There are the three dots underneath every section. You can actually go ahead and tap on that and it'll give you a bunch more options which you can go ahead and explore. You can change the shape, you can change the language. You can also um, have a superscript and a subscript. You can make your text all caps. You can make it all small letters. You can underline it and you can have a strike through going through it. You can do quite a bit in there. And as I said, with each uh, section there are the three dots so you can really go in and you can change a bunch of things about the actual text going up now into the main toolbar on the top of your page you have the type and in there you have a bunch more options such as um, different fonts from Adobe you can change the font style over here again you have some recent fonts that you've used you can change the size straight from here and a bunch more options if you would like to insert special characters white space characters break characters or if you would like to fill with placeholder text you can go ahead and you can do all of that in this additional text options bar over here under type in your main toolbar there we go there are tons of options that you have when you want to edit text in adobe illustrator go ahead explore try a bunch of different stuff and see what works for you i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to drop us a like and we'll see you in another awesome video cheers for now folks